In this tutorial, we'll simulate mixing of two 2D streams of water at different temperatures and then we'll find out the average temperature of resultant stream. Some more features will be discussed with it. Open a new project. First, let's draw the geometry in Design Modular. Set the units as millimeters. Select a plane and generate a sketch in it. Draw a rectangle of any dimension anywhere on the screen. Let's learn to use some constraints. We want the rectangle symmetrical along the X and Y axis. Go to Constraints and select Symmetry. First click the axis along which symmetry is required then the edges. Press Escape or click any other constraint before repeating the process for other axis then reselect the constraint. Control the dimensions from this tab. Click the edge and then click somewhere else for generating dimension line. Make it 1 meter by 200 millimeters. This is the duct in which our main stream will flow. Make a secondary stream for mixing at any angle. Making the entrance of secondary stream horizontal helps us in obtaining well structured mesh with which will be demonstrated later. For deleting any feature, go to Modify and select the Trim option. Simply click on the feature or drag across it. The sketch alone has no importance unless we obtain a 2D surface from it. Make a surface from this sketch from tools at the top of screen. Now this surface can be used in simulation. Name the edges on which boundary conditions are to be applied. As for the walls we don't name, Fluent by default reads them as thermally insulated with fixed hydraulic boundary condition. We would have to specify them if we want it the other way around. We'll split the surface into further which gives us more control over mesh generation. Split the face wherever is there some discontinuity so that we may be able to guide the algorithm into making the type of mesh we want. Draw lines in a new sketch across which we want to split the surface. Click on Face Split in Tools. Select Split Face from Tools and specify the face first, then the lines across which we want to split it. Now we have three different faces. Let's move to Meshing. Use face meshing and keep the mapped mesh on. This way mesh tends to follow the boundaries. Now we want to control the size of elements. Select all the faces in sizing and give them the required mesh element size. Generate the mesh. We have obtained a well structured mesh. Had we not split the faces we would have obtained this type of mesh even with the same conditions. Let's move on. We don't have multiple phasic interactions like liquid water with steam. Keep it off. When specifying temperatures, turn the energy equation on. 
Selection of a viscous model requires theoretical knowledge and literature study. We'll discuss them in a separate video. For now, just select laminar flow. Fluent by default keeps air as the fluid. Let's import water from Fluent database. Uncheck all the options first. Then select water liquid from the bottom. Click copy then close it. If you are not using some material, make sure to delete it. In this way you'll be certain that it is not being used. If it is in use, change it from cell zone conditions. Simply change the material from air to liquid. Now it can be deleted. Set the boundary conditions as explained in the previous tutorial. Make sure to specify the temperature of each stream as well. We have cold stream at 300 Kelvin and and hot stream at 600 Kelvin. Values given under solution controls is of successive under relaxation factor used by the algorithm for each quantity. Set them at default for now. Initialize the solution and run the calculations. Solution didn't converge in 50 iterations. Run the iterations again. Solution converged in 264 iterations. Let's move on to post CFD. Generate some contours and streamlines to have an idea of the thermal hydrodynamics of flow, which can be used for optimizing geometry. Contour of pressure changes can be used to optimize the geometry to reduce pressure losses. Let's create animation. Its method was shown in the first video. Let's repeat it anyway. Select probe from tools which can be used for finding out point values at different locations. For making contours at locations other than walls, we'll have to make a plane there. Option is given in location. Now, 
For average values of functions, go to Function Calculator. Select area average function, desired location and then the variable whose average value is needed. Fluid exists at 385 Kelvin average temperature. Save the project in desired location and don't forget to subscribe. That's it for now. Thank you.